Good morning, Meadow. Beth stopped at my desk. Her eyes went wide, and I braced for what would come next. Oh, I'm happy you finally decided to stop trying to cover up the awful scar. By the end of the day, your makeup just wears off and you can see it anyway. It's such a shame. You were such a beautiful girl. I mean, you still are, even with the scar on your face. Beth smiled a bright smile as she continued by my desk, as if she wasn't just a royal bitch. Who says that? Beth does. That's who. And most everyone else. At least she makes comments to my face instead of whispering them behind my back. I should have been used to it by now. From the moment I'd woken up in the hospital with this hideous scar marring my face, people have been making comments. Oh, you poor thing. Does it hurt? So sad to mark such a pretty face. I've heard it all, and mostly I ignored the stares and running commentary about how my scar came to be. People comment as if I don't know I have a six-inch scar running from my ear to my chin. I knew it was there. I saw it every day. A stark reminder that I was lucky to be alive. My flesh had been flayed open with such force two of my teeth were dislodged, and I have dental implants. Unfortunately, even after plastic surgery, the scar was still prevalent. These days, I chose to view the mark as a symbol of what I lived through. I've not always felt that way. There were many dark days after the attack happened. I was too afraid to leave my house. Horrified, I looked like a monster. And there was a time I'd contemplated ending it all. I might have if it wasn't for a very special woman who I'd clung to like a lifeline. Veronica Venus 21 was my savior, even though I'd never met her in real life. She was a member of a message board I joined after I was released from the hospital. The group was for victims of violent crimes. We'd spent hours in the online chat room. She'd survived a horrific ordeal much worse than mine, and she'd made it through. She gave me hope. Seaside, Oregon is a small resort city with a beach known for its surf breaks and a 1920s promenade with an arcade and an old-fashioned carousel. The population is a hair over 6,000, a far cry from the one and a half million who crowd Phoenix. The air is different here, too. Fresh and bracing, filled with a scent of salt and pine, instead of smog and stone baked by the unrelenting desert sun. I hope everything will be different here. I hope I can leave all my nightmares behind. Preoccupied with thoughts of all the work that needs to be done to the house, I drink my coffee and eavesdrop on conversations, trying not to wonder what Cass would have to say about this place, how he'd be bouncing off his stool with excitement. It's several minutes before I realize I'm uncomfortable. Surprised by the intensity of the feeling, I glance around. None of the patrons are looking my way. The music is cheerful, the interior of the diner is clean and bright, and everything appears normal. Boring, even. Then why is the skin on the back of my neck crawling? I glance over my shoulder and discover the reason. The guy in the raincoat is looking at me. No, not looking, glaring. Conspicuously hostile, he stares at me with total revulsion, as if I've deeply offended him in some way. Cold, hard, and utterly black, his eyes are like obsidian. I raise my brows and stare back at him, because I don't have time for assholes with attitude problems. Here you go, honey. The nice waitress deposits a plate in front of me. It's overflowing with an omelet that could feed a family of four topped by a messy pile of hash browns. Wow, that's a lot of food. She laughs, her stomach jiggling. I should have warned you about the portion sizes. Cal, that's my husband, is the cook, and he likes folks to leave feeling like they got a lot for their money. Tell Cal you can raise the price of this omelet by $10, and I'd still feel like I got a lot for my money. 
I poke at the huge, fluffy mound with my fork. How many eggs are even in this thing? She chuckles. <laughs> Who knows? I gave up trying to get him to follow recipes years ago. I hope you like it, honey. I'm sure I will. Thanks. <laughs>